everyone, this is more of my FIFA 22 Journeyman Career Mode here with Valencia. And we're going to start the episode today by playing this game against Alborg here at the Mestire. And on deck in this episode is I might end up playing this game against Real Madrid, although I may end up simming it as well. Just, I don't know yet. That's going to be a game time decision. But I will definitely be playing this game against Atletico Madrid, and I'll be simming these matches against... Standard Liege and Levante, and then I'll be ending the episode by playing the game against Real Sociedad. But before we continue on, hope you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys doing well. And a win here against Allborg will all but clinch a spot in the knockout stages for us here. So, without further ado, we're going to keep the kits on. Oh, I am not playing in the rain. I am definitely not playing in the rain. I'm very surprised that the wolf is not at an 80 yet. He has not grown at all since I bought him. And see, Lotto is the future player here. Asked about game time last time whenever we played against Girona, and I told him we had bigger games coming up. And you could argue that this is a bigger game than Girona. Whereas Girona was sitting dead last in La Liga. This one determines whether or not we're going to be in, in the, uh, the knockout stages of the Conference League. If we get a win and in, in, in SC Sean get anything but a win, we will have clinched a spot in the knockout stages. Beautiful Tifo in the background there. I really wish this club had had different ownership because the owners they have right now are a bunch of numpties. And they are really bringing this club down. I mean, they survived relegation last season in real life. They ended up finishing 16th. Which is unheard of with a team of, with a statue of Valencia's. We cannot get the ball whatsoever! Yeah, this team is too good to be finishing 16th in La Liga. I'm sorry. As Ramos finishes off that play, after we finally get the ball. The Wolf? The Wolf! Oh! Took a little bit of an extra touch there, but... Nobody was at a decent position. Rivas, you're offside. I should have just taken it with Rivas instead of risking that. That was my fault. The Wolf? Okay! Ooh! Kind of an awkward finish by Ramos, but he does put that in the back of the net. But as you can see, we are celebrating 150 career wins here in this particular career mode. Hundred and fifty wins between four clubs, that's pretty good. Okay, can we? Ah, oh, come on. Why are we heading it backwards? The Wolf? Yeah, I was, I was holding up on the left analog stick in order to get, I don't know who was in position there, but for whatever reason, the game thought I, was, I wanted to head it backwards, which there was an Allboard guy right there. Okay, let's see. Sean ends up winning, so we're n we have not secured a spot in the knockout stage yet. Okay, wow, okay. 
I think wait. I think we are gonna go ahead and sim this game. I know that's dumb, but you know the goal isn't to isn't necessarily to win La Liga. The goal is to win is to finish in the top four. Although we could beat Madrid, I don't know, but I mean we do have a question between they they are nine points behind us right now, but I am willing to risk it here. Just so we can keep this episode going, keep this career mode going. Yeah, I'd much rather play them at home than at the Bernabeu. Okay. We got Dybala, Rodrigo. That is a good team. Gravenberch, Casemiro, Isco. We're probably going to lose this game, but like I said, I do want to keep this career mode going. Yep, but we do get the 2 0 loss, so essentially on Casemiro score for them, but we have we have another important game coming up, which we will be playing that one, and that is against Atletico Madrid. Did anybody grow? Doesn't look like it. DeWolf is at an 80, which makes me happy. Nobody else is growing yet. Need to be a little bit patient with this team. I mean, the ratings are good. I'm happy with the overall growth. I mean, it's always good to see them grow more, but you you can't rush. I mean, we're not even in January yet, and some of these guys have already, have already grown by three, so... I do need I do need to be a little bit patient in that regard. I mean Rivas, I think Rivas alone is grown by three. But yeah, there's no way we are not playing this game. As we get another scouting report, Ivan Prieto. I really wish their values were higher than 300 grand. It'd be nice to get somebody that was worth half a mil. Surely this guy has to be... Okay, I was going to say, Xavi VR, if you were not worth at least half a mil, I was going to be very disappointed. Okay, okay let's see. We still have not signed a goalkeeper yet. Okay, right wing back. He is a, of course, 61 rating. You look like, what's your measurements? Five foot seven, you're kind of small. But your stats are telling me that you're better off as a center back. No, okay. We'll train you as a right back. And Imperato, 54 rating. He is a center mid. I am going to keep that on him. He does have good dribbling, though. But it's only going to take him four weeks, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep him. Let's work on his, his work rate, uh, attacking work rate, and his pace. Yeah, the only thing we have got to sign yet in this career mode is a goalkeeper and then we were we will have completed that particular objective I'm already seeing some Premier League names in, 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 that, in that lineup I actually prefer those kits those kits are interesting and we are not playing in the freaking rain. We're going back to this again, are we, EA? Okay, we see Harry Kane and Jao Felix up top. That's very dangerous. Verman is behind Tielemans and Nunes. Um, Lodi, Felipe, John Stones, Harry Maguire, Casas, Oblock. Yeah, Stones, Maguire, Tielemans. 
are definitely Premier League. Kane used to play in the Premier League, now plays with Bayern Munich. I'm not sure if Mateus Nunez still, is still playing for... No, I think he signed for Manchester City from Wolves. I could be thinking of a different player, but... But we are going to be playing this with our second team because I do want to sim with our first team against the end of the age. And if we don't win that game against Standard Liege, I am going to have to play the final game against FC Shard in order to make sure we progress through to the knockout stages of the Conference League. I'm not interested in that. As we are coming off only our second loss this season to Real Madrid. And we are playing another, against another capital club in, in Atletico. Which starting next season, they'll be going back to their, their original crest, Atletico Madrid, which I'm very happy about. I don't like the, the simplistic Microsoft Paint looking badges that they're wearing right now. As we kick things off here at the Stadio Mestalla. Zagankov? Oh, no, that's not Zagankov. That's the Wolf. Nice run by Ramos. He got a sudden burst of speed going through the, uh, the, the hurts of the Atletico defense. Let me see something for a second. Did I change? Okay. I thought I put Mamanishvili back in there. Oh! I, this job by Ramos! Can we sweat this? Where's open? Ah, Rivas was not. Okay, good dribbling by Rivas. Of course, you kick it right at the defender. And is it? That has to be Marshall. Nope, that's Yusuf. I knew it was one of them. I knew it was either Yusuf or Marshall scoring that goal. Yeah, Riva screwed up that sweat there. I'm not too happy about that. Ah, oh, come on, game. You cannot tell me that the game... You cannot tell me... Okay, they're playing him. You cannot tell me that this ball is going to constantly stay on their feet. There. That is a tackle. Not a good pass, but the wolf is right there. What kind of finish was that, the wolf? I almost have time to take you off because of that. We are shooting ourselves in the foot big time here in this this game. Viva, so you're going to get an onside position? Thank you. You owe me that goal. You owe me that goal. Because you, you messed up a perfectly good sweat by Ramos earlier. Look at this. You cannot tell me it's going to constantly be at their feet. Oh, look at that. I can't even get... Like, what, what am I supposed to do in that situation? Like, what more was I supposed to do there? I'm doing literally everything I can to get the ball off those guys. And the game, it's almost like there's a magnet inside the ball going towards the Atletico guys. Like, what was I supposed to do there? As they do get two goals back through Harry Kane and Rain and Lodi. I'm not sure if Lo I didn't pay attention to what Nottingham Forest squad is like this season. I know they did play for Forest last year, though. He was out on loan, but I don't think they made that. 
I don't think they made that deal permanent. We'll check development plans after we sim the game against standard liaise. I'm going to tell him I want more from him. But we are going to go ahead and sim ahead to this match against the Belgian side here. Okay, where are we at in our... Okay, we did get 10 games without defeat, so... Good. I'm going to tell him the same thing I did before. Varela, you are not playing. Especially not in this kind of match. Okay, we are going to... Standard Liege is at the bottom of the group. Watch, we'll end up dropping points against them. Oh! Oh, this is a Dead River game. I just realized that because Sean overtook Alborg. So no matter what happens, we're going to go through to the group, the knockout stage. So we don't have to play the final group game against um, FC Sean. I just realized that just now. As we get the 4-0 win anyway. So gank off with the brace, Ramos and Prado with goals. Okay, I'm going to put our second team up and then I will look at development plans. Tell them it's not the right game. I do want to look at development plans. I still don't know what I'm going to do with some of my strikers here. Ramos is up to an 84. I'm surprised Sunset isn't at an 85 yet. Okay. Um, Ramos is done growing. That could be something to think about. What about Sunset? Where's he at? Sunset, he is... Only two weeks from an 85. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I, the more I'm thinking about, the more I'm going to sell Ramos. And see if I can use money for him to bring in a new center... A, a new starting center mid. Okay, let's look at Rivas... Okay, Rivas, I'm going to keep it because it's going to take him 13 weeks on good form to get reach a 79. Doesn't look like anybody else has grown. Angles is stuck at a 78. Comer, I've already seen his. Okay, Salisu and uh, Body of Shill are both at a 82. Okay, we are going to sim ahead here. And it is an away match against Levante, so I do have to be careful. Okay, manager of the month award, which I feel is very much deserved. Okay, Ponce goes from 57 to 58 as a center back. We'll put you in the sweeper plan. Let's see who else I need to convert. Ramos goes from... He does not go anywhere. He stays at a 53, which is kind of disappointing. We're going to train you for the opposite side. Anybody else that I need to convert? Doesn't look like it. But we are seven points ahead of Barcelona, though. They do have they have played one more game as us, and Atletico is eight points behind us, and they played the same amount of games. So this could be a very important game coming up here. Okay, got um, Malpay up front alongside Wilson. Is that Harry Wilson? 
I don't know, Mustafi I recognize. Vedetsky they got in goal. That could be a problem. Garrison and Papelu in midfield. Which Marshall was at a 78. I just realized that. I'm going to have to look at him. But we are going to go out and quick sim this. And we do get the win. The Wolf ends up getting the winner right before halftime. And somebody on Levante got hurt. Yeah, I am going to have to look at... Our, our manager rating's going down for whatever reason. I don't know why. We were at a 98. But Zunu is not a 78 as well. I'll be looking at his as well. And then we'll be playing the game against... Uh, um, Real Sociedad here to end the episode. Okay, but Zunu... It's going to take him 15 weeks to reach a 79. And then... Oh, Comer's up to a 77. I'll look at his plan here real quick. Okay, 14 as a stopper. I'll put him on that. That is our good form. I'll take that. Yeah, Angles just isn't growing. And the one I want to look at is Marshall. One of the best center mid uh, young prospects I've ever had the pleasure of managing. This kid has not done anything wrong. If he has, it's, it's been very minor, but I've been so happy with him. And that actually works things. Uh, it actually works out nicely because we're gonna play this game against Real Sociedad, and then we're gonna be simming the first two. They're gonna be, we're gonna be simming the games against Sean and Mallorca at the beginning of the next episode, and we'll be playing the home match against Barcelona, and then we'll be doing the end of our mid-season stuff. So that ended up working. So the next episode, which our manager rating is now up back up to ninety-nine, but. Yeah, the next episode will be, will be the last one before the January chance window, so. But we are we are up against 10th place Real Sociedad. Who at the time of recording this, which is December 19th, they did get drawn against PSG in the round of 16 of the, of the Champions League. And to be honest with you guys, I'm liking the chances of beating the Parisian side. I really do. I, I think a lot of people are underestimating Sociedad. I really do. Of course, on here, Sociedad was one of the teams that I could have applied for, but I didn't. I ended up applying for Valencia instead. Let's see, they got William Jose, or Uyazabal, Porto. I'm not sure who, they, who their attacking mate is, but Shobich lies alongside Zuba Mendy. Ben White alongside Sagnon, I'm not sure who that is. Lazari and Philip Max. Alex Romero in goal. This is a pretty solid side that associate that have. As Sunset, as Sunset is now at an 85, so... We just gotta wait for Puado to reach an 85, and our front, five, or our, our front three will be officially Champions League ready. As you can see, Sagankov is the featured player here. But here we are. We are up against Real Sociedad at home. Of course, Sociedad are playing in the Champions League in real life. Sociedad, a club that I am very interested in doing a career mode on in the future, especially with their recent success of qualifying for the Champions League. And arguably one of the toughest leagues in Europe, uh, La Liga has always been a competitive league. Well, 
Not so much the top two or three, but like everybody else seems to be very competitive. As Sunset opens up the scoring here. Nice job by Mangala. Can you can you sweat this? Yeah, I got it. I got to sweat. But Mangala, you've had an excellent couple of episodes, my friend. You're returning to just such a good signing for me. I love players that not only pull their weight but pull more than their weight. And, and Oro Mangala is such a player. I love that. Now we're having issues getting the ball off this freaking team again. Mangala forcing them to go wide. Baumgartner passing it to Sunset. Sunset, can you get a hat trick? Yes, you can. You know, I'm going to do the Messi celebration. As we're going to jump to the result. Which I do need to look at Sunset's development plan. As we do hang on for the clean sheet. But we are going to end the episode here. We're going to start the next episode by simming this match with our second team against FC Sean. Then we're going to be, we're gonna be uh, having our first team up for the final two games of December. We're going to sim the game against Mallorca and we're going to be playing the match at home against Barcelona. But that is what the next episode is going to look look like. Plus we're going to be doing our mid-season stuff as well as look at our, how our old teams are doing. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. But thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I'll be see you guys again next time.